the cardiocutaneous syndromes there are two which are naxos and kavajal okay now this is characterized by both have woolly hair and palmo plantar keratoderma they are autosomal recessive so autosomal recessive disease with woolly hair palmo plantar keratoma and arvd is naxos syndrome autosomal recessive with woolly hair palmo plantar keratoma and dcm is carvajal so remember naxos has arvd and carvajal has dcm so this is very important the only difference is the heart manifestation where naxos has arvd and carvajal has dcm naxos is due to junctional placoglobin mutations and carvajal is due to desmoplakin mutations so remember that cardiocutaneous syndromes are two if you they are both autosomal recessive Woolly hair plus palmo plantar keratoderma plus ARVD is naxos due to a junction placoglobin mutation. Woolly hair plus palmo plantar keratoderma plus DCM is carvajal due to desmoplakin mutations. This has been asked extensively in your exams and will continue to be done also in the same. This chapter itself, the ARVD itself is so very important. And this is a triangle of dysplasia. This is the traditional triangle of dysplasia for years together. This was considered to be the most common site, which is the one, to one end by the RVOT, the other end by the RV inflow. This is a tricuspid valve, an area just below the tricuspid valve. So the RV inflow, RVOT, RV inflow and the RV apex. So this was considered your traditional triangle of dysplasia to assume that ARVD occurs mostly here, in the junction between the RVOT, RV inflow and RV apex. Well, subsequently this was proved law wrong and now you have the triangle of dysplasia displaced or the modern triangle of dysplasia okay this is the sternum so this is anterior this is the rv you can see the rv is so dilated when compared to the lv this is a basal cut so heart you have the apex you have the mid and the basal level so this is a basal cuts okay so uh, this is the basal anterior rv this is the basal posterior, this is the basal inferior RV, this lies on the diaphragm, and this is the posterolateral LV. So a junction between the basal uh, anterior RV, basal inferior RV, and posterolateral LV. This is your triangle of dysplasia. So RV basal anterior wall, RV basal inferior wall, and posterolateral LV. So RV apical involvement is very rare and is never seen in isolation. That's why this triangle of dysplasia was changed. What is the most common site of LV involvement? Again, this is the posterolateral LV. This is also an MCQ. The most common site of LV involvement of what we say ARVD is posterolateral LV. This is a new triangle of dysplasia. Basal inferior wall, basal anterior wall, and posterolateral LV. So remember, ARVD is a progressive disease. It has four phases. One is the subclinical phase. So this is a phase where the patient is asymptomatic. It has very few RV structural abnormalities. Very difficult to diagnose. But remember, this patient can present with sudden cardiac death. Remember the footballer? Okay. So subclinical phase. The patient is uh, asymptomatic. You may be able to demonstrate some abnormalities in the RV. Very difficult to diagnose. But this patient has a risk of sudden cardiac death. Okay. Phase number two is, is an overt electrical disorder where uh, a patient presents with RV arrhythmias. So he presents with a typical LBB with a superior axis uh, VT. So we can have VTs, you can have atrial fibrillations, you can have various arrhythmias occurring from the RV. And uh, if you do, if you look into the uh, echo and, or MRI, you can find fu functional or structural abnormalities. So, but however, this presents as an electrical disorder. Next is, it had presence as a mechanical disorder where there is RV failure, RV dysfunction with preserved LV function. So mechanical disorder, RV failure dominates. So at this stage you can have RV aneurysms, RV dilation, region wall motion abnormalities of the RV, decrease in RV ejection fraction, so patient with a period edema, elevated JVP. So it presents RV failure. The last step is biventricular failure, where LV plus RV involvement presents as CCF. So stage one is subclinical phase where it's very difficult to detect, patient may present with sudden cardiac death. So even in your subclinical phase, you can have sudden cardiac death. The echo might be normal actually. Sudden cardiac death might be there. Okay, present as next is an, elect presenting as an electrical disorder where the main presentations are palpitation, syncope, or even sudden cardiac death due to RV uh, arrhythmias. Uh, there are structural abnormalities in the RV, but uh, there's no symptoms. Stage three is when you have mechanicals, RV failure occurs. The patient will have present with elevated JUP, pedal edema, ascites, and if you do an echo, you can find uh, LV, RV dysfunction, regional wall motion abnormalities, RV aneurysms. 
LV function is preserved. Stage 4 is when you have LV involvement, you have biventricular failure. So, sudden card, so subclinical electrical disorder, RV failure, RV plus LV failure. So, this is your classical progression of ARVD. And remember, it's a progressive disease. It does not remain here, it progresses down.